Hello and welcome to Barbershop Book Storytime with Alvin Irby. That's me. Today's story is a fun story. A little funny too. I think you're going to like it. It's called If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Well, I like cookies, so I guess mice would probably like cookies too. Let's take a look at this the front cover of the story. I see cookies, but not just any kind of cookies. They look like chocolate chip cookies. I see one here. I see two over here. So I also see a mouse with overalls on. This mouse has on clothes and I see a crayon. Well, I wonder if someone's going to be coloring in the story. There's only one way to find out. If you give a mouse a cookie. Oh, and look, here's a little kid right here uh, eating uh, a cookie. What type of cookies do you like? I really like chocolate chip cookies, especially when they have walnuts or, yeah, walnuts. I like chocolate chip cookies when they have walnuts inside. What's your favorite type of cookie? Do you like chocolate chip cookies? Do you like peanut butter cookies? Do you like macadamia nut cookies? What about sugar cookies or M&M cookies or, well, there are probably other type of cookies. All right, sorry, let's get into the story. If you give a mouse a cookie, and look, here's a picture of a little boy holding up a cookie. And look, do you see who's all the way over here in the corner? Well, it's a little mouse. If you give a mouse a cookie, he's going to ask for a glass of milk. When you give him the milk, hmm, I don't know what's going to happen when you give him the milk. But look, here he is right here giving the milk. A mouse a glass of milk. Mm, let's see what happens next. He'll probably ask you for a straw. And look, the little boy is looking everywhere trying to find a straw. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. And look, here's the mouse. He ate the entire cookie. He drank an entire glass of milk. He looks stuffed. What do you like to do if you've eaten a lot and you drank a lot? What do you like to do next? Hmm. What do I like to do? Sometimes I like to go for a walk maybe and try and walk off uh, the food so that it can digest. Or sometimes I like to take a nap. Let's find out what this mouse likes to do. All right. When he's finished, he'll ask for a napkin. Then he'll want to look in a mirror to make sure he doesn't have a milk mustache. <laughs> and look, the little boy, if you look way, way, way in the back of the picture, he's holding up the mouse up to the mirror so that the mouse can see, I guess, his face. When he looks into the mirror, he might notice his hair needs a trim. So, he'll probably ask for a pair of nail scissors. And look, here's the mouse. And look, do you see where the mouse needs a haircut? I do see a little hair right at the top, right here, that's sticking up. So, I get... That's maybe why, why the mouse wants to get a trim. And so here's a little boy running around to find uh, nail clippers to trim the mouse, mouse's hair. Let's see. When he's finished giving himself a trim, he'll want a broom to sweep up. He'll start sweeping. And so look, here we are. There's a little boy and the, look, the mouse is trimming and there's hair everywhere. 
Or if it's a mouse, maybe it's fur. I think, I think it's fur. So the mouse has fur everywhere. On the floor, on the sink. And the little boy, he's just kind of looking. He might get carried away and sweep every room in the house. So remember, after the trim, the mouse would want a broom to sweep up the hair. But the little boy is saying, well, maybe he'll want to sweep up everywhere. And look, there's like little piles of dust right here, right here. And then there's like, I guess, dust everywhere because the mouse is sweeping so much. <laughs> this seems like a really nice mouse. Most people do not like mice at all. He may even end up washing the floors as well. And look, there's like a sponge and a mop bucket and some cleaning stuff and rubber gloves. When he's done, he'll probably want to take a nap. Well, probably because he's been working so hard. And look, he's, he's uh, laying on top of uh, this can of cleaning stuff. He's so tired. But why is the uh, mouse so tired? Well, it's probably because he's been doing all this stuff. First, he was like cutting his hair and then he was sweeping up everywhere and then he started mopping up everywhere, so the mouse is probably super duper tired. You'll have to fix up a little box for him with a blanket and a pillow. And look, <laughs> here's uh, the little boy uh, finding stuff around the house to try and make a little bed for the mouse. And look, it looks like, I don't know, what is the mouse doing? Maybe he's changing clothes or getting ready for bed. Maybe. He'll crawl in, make himself comfortable, and fluff the pillow a few times. So, look. Um, the boy made a bed for the mouse. Um, and it looks like he emptied out uh, something that had powder in it to make a little bed for the mouse. Some people do have mice for pets, but... A lot of people are really, really scared of mice. Like your your mom or your dad, they probably may not like mice. But I don't know. Maybe they do. So you'll read to him from one of your books, and he'll ask to see the pictures. When someone reads a story to you, like right now, do you like to see the pictures? Well, in this story, the mouse, he likes to see the pictures. And... I, when I'm reading a story, I like to show the pictures so that people understand what's happening in the story. All right, let's keep going and see what happens next with this mouse. When he looks at the pictures, he'll get so excited, he'll want to draw. Wanna, oh, he'll want to draw a picture of his own. He'll ask for paper and crayons. Well, remember on the front story, uh, I'm on the front cover of the book, we saw crayons. Wow, now I know it was the mouse who will be using the crayons in the story. And look, here's the uh, mouse jumping out of his bed uh, to go and draw. I wonder what the mouse is gonna draw. He'll draw a picture. And look, here's the mouse. And look at the crayon. It looks like the crayon is even bigger than the mouse. And so is the paper. The paper looks huge. Why does the paper look so big? Maybe the paper isn't big. Maybe the mouse is just really, really tiny. Let's see what. What? When, he, when the picture is finished, he'll want to sign his name. Look at this picture. Can you believe that a mouse would draw a picture that looks like that? That looks like a professional artist. This mouse can draw really, really good with crayons. 
Isn't that a cool picture? I think he drew a picture of his entire family. Do you ever like to draw pictures of your family when you uh, color or draw? Well, I wonder what the mouse is going to want to do next. It says that he's going to want to sign his name to his picture with a pen. So let's see. Then he'll want to hang his picture on your refrigerator, which means he'll need, what will he need? Hmm. What do you need if you want to hang a picture on the refrigerator? Well, here's a picture of the boy cleaning up and here's the mouse kind of, I guess, asking him questions. And here's the mouse with his picture, which he wants to put where? On the refrigerator. So, hmm, well, maybe he wants tape or a magnet because magnets can help things stick on the refrigerator. Scotch tape. There we go. So uh, the boy found tape to give to the mouse so that he could put it up on the where. Did he want to put it up on the wall? In the bathroom? No. The mouse wanted to put his picture on the refrigerator. He'll hang up his drawing and stand back to look at it. Looking at the refrigerator will remind him that He's hungry, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> but look, he's standing back, looking at his picture, kind of the way that somebody might stand and look at a picture or painting in a museum or a sculpture. <laughs> you want to know, like, a college word for when you kind of stand back and look at something that you like? Admire. Can you say the word admire? Well, if you really like looking at something, then it's like you admire it. Isn't that a cool word? So he looks at the refrigerator and what happens? It will remind him that he's thirsty. <laughs> and look, the mouse is grabbing his throat like, I'm so thirsty. I'm so thirsty. Well, the, ma the mouse has been doing a lot, running around and lots of different things. So I guess that could make you a little thirsty. So, so what's going to happen? All I know is that the little boy, he looks really tired. I think the little boy may even be taking a nap. But I have a question for you. Why is the little boy so tired? I feel like, like the mouse has been, well, the mouse has been doing a lot of stuff, but he's also been asking the little boy for lots of help. Remember? He asked him to make him a bed. He asked him for a broom. He asked him to help him get a haircut. So I think the little boy probably has a reason to be tired. So if he gets thirsty, He'll ask for a glass of milk. Uh-oh. <laughs> Remember what happens if you, if you give him the milk? And chances are, if he asks for a glass of milk, he's going to want a cookie to go along with it. And look, here is the little boy with a little bag of cookies. And guess what? That's the end of the story. Wasn't this a cool story? <laughs> it's kind of like once one thing happened, something else happened, then something else happened, then something else happened, then something else happened. That's kind of like one of the things that I really like about this story is all the fun things that are happening in it. Well, Thank you so much for listening to Barbershop, well, for watching to Barbershop Book Storytime. If you would like to learn more about Barbershop Books, you can visit our website, barbershopbooks.org. You can also connect with us on social media at Barbershop Books. Well, until next time, bye. <laughs>